Dennis the Menace synonymous with childhood mischief and rebellion for more than half a century is undergoing a multi-million pound makeover as the Beano battles to stay relevant with the click and swipe generation. Viewing data this week will show the cartoon series Dennis and Nasher Unleashed has become the top show on the BBC's children's channel CBBC in its first week, and the 10th most watched program in the country among children aged 6 to 12 alongside The X Factor and Strictly Come Dancing. The Beano Top 20 book covers in pictures it is a lifeline for Britain's longest-running comic, founded in 1938, which has seen weekly sales slide from 2 meters in its 1950s heyday to around 35,000 today. As well as a new website, App and TV Venture, there are plans for live shows, merchandising, partnerships and even films and fashion tie-ups. If it all seems a million miles from the days when Bivo the Bear and Lord Snooty ruled the comics pages, then that's because it is. It's about recreating the characters for the 21st century and getting into the zeitgeist of children across the UK, says Emma Scott, chief executive of Beano Studios. Set up last year by the comics publishers Dundee-based DC Thompson to steer the brand into the digital era. What we're trying to do is galvanize the love and the affection and the very high trust levels that we have among parents. The Beano is desperate to avoid the fate of its stable mate the Dandy, which ceased printing five years ago when weekly circulation sank below the 10,000 mark. Scott says the demise of the Dandy was before her time, but it is likely that the shadow of Desperate Dan looms large despite the success of a skateboarding, guitar jamming Dennis the Menace digitally enhanced in movie-like quality. The actor Freddie Fox, 28, who voices the wildest boy in the world in the cartoon series is not surprised a new generation have taken to the revamped Dennis. He might have been around for decades but his humor and spirit are timeless, says Fox. He's the kid that everybody wants to be. Children live vicariously through Beano characters, Scott believes. That level of escapism is incredibly important, especially in the world we live in. Sign up to the media briefing. News for the newsmakers read more to keep a finger on the pulse of the playground. Staff at Beano Studios interview a panel of young trend spotters once a week. Aged 8 to 12. They talk about what they are watching on YouTube and television and what music they like. The names that have come up most in the past year are Donald Trump, Ed Sheeran and Stormzy. Trump is their arch-villain, their Darth Vader, and they don't really understand him, says Scott. It is that type of feedback that now feeds into all be no content, whether it's for the comic the website, the app, television, even the forthcoming live shows. To mark Halloween, for example, the website released a video spoof of a six-year-old boy trick-or-treating, not as a witch, vampire or mommy but as the American president. The video went viral, as did a mock-up of Trump wearing the new children's craze, huge Jojo bows, in his hair with the gag. There are some people that even Jojo Bows can't help. It's not a political gesture, it's referencing something that's getting brought to us by our fans, says Mike Sterling. Bino's editorial director, making fun of someone like Trump takes away some of his apparent menace. Making of light of the world and parodying some of its most fearsome elements is a nod to the Bino of old. The Second World War, the famously poked fun at Hitler, look Goering. I'm sick of this half a sausage between us led to the then editor, George Mooney, landing himself on Hitler's most wanted assassination list. Sterling believes the Beano is a different proposition to Dandy, which failed to move online. Dandy's key characters were adults, he says, whereas Beano is all about the kids. DC Thompson has invested more heavily in its Beano reinvention than it ever did with the Dandy. Next to get a makeover is Minnie the Minx. I want to make sure there's a good, strong character coming over to the screens, says Scott. Plans are being drawn up to bring Dennis and Minnie to the big screen. The 1987 U.S. movie Dennis the Menace was not connected to the comic.
We would love to take Dennis to America, says Scott, adding the TV series has been sold abroad, although she will not say where. There are plans to cash in with Beano merchandise. From Minnie the Minx t-shirts to Dennis the Menace striped jerseys and Bash Street Kids sportswear. Indeed, talks are in an advanced stage for Beano to partner with a fashionable name. Rumored to be Stella McCartney, Paul Smith or Ted Baker. McCartney and Smith are renowned fans, but then Beano has no shortage of celebrity supporters. Most famously, perhaps, Princes William and Harry were both members of the Dennis and Nasher fan club as children. New material for the comic there, then? Harry is actually the type of person that Dennis would get on with quite well, says Sterling. When William and Kate Middleton were married, an edition of the Beano saw Dennis Gate crashing the wedding and capturing his characteristic chaos. So I would not be surprised if Harry actually invites Dennis to his wedding, Sterling jokes.